Forget the headaches of the morning rush. Morgan Deluxe commute to work is just a short walk away. She works from home, so typical visitors to her office are a little shorter and a little furrier. I do think the pandemic has shown organizations that staff members can really be just as productive from home as they are in the office. Delac is the communications director at Final Sight, a Glastonbury-based education tech company. She started in January after leaving her previous job looking for full-time remote work. Even during COVID, I was required to report to work in person and with a young family and a lot of different obligations that came to light because of COVID, that became increasingly more challenging for me and it really was impacting my, my home life. How's school today, baby? Delac is not alone in reassessing her career priorities, according to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor. In August, a record 4.3 million workers quit their jobs, piggybacking on previous record months. That's equivalent to 2.9% of the workforce, marking the highest quits rate on record. The hospitality and retail sector saw the most quits. In all the years that I have been doing this work, I have never seen this. Employment lawyer Nina Parati explained how the so-called great resignation is tied to the pandemic. While for years as an employment lawyer, I have looked at individual circumstances where employees have been impacted by a major life event like a death in the family or a divorce or even a termination from their job. And those events have caused them or triggered them to think about, am I really happy in my work? What do I want to do next? Is this fulfilling? Am I being treated with respect and dignity? Am I making a good wage? This pandemic is causing that to happen on a massive scale because everybody is impacted by it. At the same time, the labor stats showed nearly 10 and a half million jobs remained open through August. Industries with the most openings included professional and business services, healthcare and social assistance, accommodation and food services, and retail trade. It's a hot market, more, it's hotter than I've ever seen it. Armando Salvador left his finance job recently looking for work in the same field. Now, after considering multiple options, he's working remote full-time and making more money. I think that employers are starting to realize that they're starting to realize that employees have leverage now. They have more leverage, especially in, in specialized fields. I see it also as an opportunity for employers to look at their practices, to see how they're treating their workforce. Final Sight CEO Jonathan Moser has taken that opportunity. So we really had to dig into all the benefits we provide at Final Sight. Since the start of the pandemic, the company has switched things up to meet evolving employee priorities. One example, moving to mostly remote work operations. End of 2020. I said to our leadership team and our board that retention of employees has to be like one of our biggest things that we have to focus on in 2021. As part of that mission, Final Sight introduced new perks, including a work abroad program. Employees like Rob Rockcliffe got to work remotely at a villa in Costa Rica for a week with transportation, food and lodging costs all covered by Final Sight. To feel appreciated is really nice. And I think that's part of the great resignation is you think about how people have been feeling. And if you have worked really hard to help a, a local restaurant stay afloat and putting extra hours in and things like that, have you got to thank you? The world has changed. There is a level where we have to, as leaders, support our employees and make sure we're doing a good job. And as the world continues to change, employees are wasting no time adapting. Employees will go out there and seek out other opportunities, other training, other education that may more align with their interests and their sense of fulfillment that they had before. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.